Hi, it's uh, Gord from Langer Craftworks again. And we're here at the uh, Mayfield Trade Center and we'll be uh, demonstrating all weekend uh, for Black Forest Wood, uh, a company out of Calgary that which does a lot of uh, uh, wood turning and woodworking and uh, we'll be here uh, working all weekend. Uh, I'll be doing some rough turning and we'll also do some uh, finished product and we hope to have a good time and uh, be able to chat with a lot of folks here at the show. So today we're going to uh, rough turn a piece of birch. Uh, I turn, rough turned this, uh, or made it round uh, several weeks ago, and then wrapped it in plastic to maintain the uh, moisture in the wood. So we're going to unwrap the plastic first and mount it on the lathe, and then we'll rough turn the uh, birch log. And the objective now is just to kind of get it round. Speed up a little. Yeah. And now we'll try and get a pleasing shape. What's up? Uh, this is a uh, half inch. Uh, Bear barge, a little bit smaller than my big one, and I can get a little bit more detail with it. All right, it's starting to come out. Take that edge right now. And I'm not sure the boat do it. Alright. It's always good to tighten it a couple of times. That worked out okay. And now we're going to clean up the face and then we will start plowing out the middle. Here's the log. What's up? This is uh, also a bull gouge you just cut to a different grind so I can get a, a peeling cut. It's uh, similar to a daily Ellsworth grind and uh, it gives me the nice uh, long shavings as I'm peeling that off. That might still give us some problems but I'm going to stay with that and I'll chew the rest of the face up. the tail stack in for this part of the project but for safety I want to keep it in okay. 
demonstration, normally I would tape it right out at this point, but for here we'll just leave it in. Now the other important part of this to keep uh, the dry through the drying part for, uh, so it won't crack, is also has to be a consistent wall thickness all the way through. So if I got an inch or so here, it's got to stay that size all the way to the bottom. If you have different sizes, the wood will dry at different rates, and that will also cause you cracking. So whatever size you figure out that you need here, it's got to be the same size all the way through. I'm leaving myself little steps here because when I take the tail stock off then, I can finish that part of the cut by just resting the bevel of my chisel on these little steps without cutting anything. So I can make the one cut all the way through even though I've stopped. And I can just pick up this, the bevel back again because you want to ride on the back of the bevel as you make your uh, cuts through the bottom of the bowl. Just finding my step. Just ride on the step. I'm still a little ha heavy here. I'm way heavy on the bottom yet, so just got to keep working at it. So I got a consistent wall thickness throughout. There we go. So now it'll, uh, we'll wrap it in some newspaper. For today, we'll just put some shavings in it. And this one's pretty dry. I wish it was a lot wetter. It's, uh, it's still pretty heavy, you can feel it. It's still pretty, but I, it's, it's, see, because I was cut a year ago. Okay. So it's already too dry for really the demonstration purposes. It was too dry, but it'll, uh, I think it'll be a nice bowl when it's done. Nice salad bowl. So we'll let it dry now for uh, six months or so. And then we'll put it back on the lathe, back on this uh, flip, and we'll finish turn it then. So that concludes uh, rough turning, our first demonstration. Uh, it's always uh, tough to get the first one under your belt, but I was relatively happy with it. I'm not terribly happy with the shape, but uh, we'll refine it when uh, the wood dries in about six months from now, and it'll turn out to be a very, very nice bowl. So thanks for your attention.